Hi everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Mandeep and in today's video we are going to discuss what is vanishing gradient and what is exploding gradient. These problems are faced during the deep learning neural network training. So let's get started with today's discussion. So as you can see that on the left hand side I have created a table, a sample table. Where we have x1, x2 and x3 and then next column is y. And X1 is my age column and X2 is my salary column and education is my X3 and Y insurance is my Y column. I have taken some sample rows. Let, let's say uh, if I read the first row, I this user have age of 22 years and salary as 50,000 and his or her education is Bachelor of Engineering and he does not buy the insurance. The same way, let's say we have thousands or millions of rows and we need to build a machine or deep learning model, which basically can predict us for us that they given these parameters, if a user will buy insurance or not. So uh, let's say we, uh, this is the simple neural network, which I have already drawn. You can see that. Uh, so uh, let me take you through this. So first layer is my input layer, X1, X2, X3. You can see that. And um, then you have a hidden layer of first layer of hidden neurons three neurons are present in this layer. So you can see that this, these neurons are divided into two parts. In the first part, uh, we have sigma and then in the second is sigma. So basically this represents the weighted sum, this one, and this represents the activation function. In this particular problem, because this problem is related with the classification, so we are using sigmoid as an activation function. So like this way, every neuron has these two parts into it. And you can see that um, I have initialized some weights for let's say x1, or w1, w2, w3, because x1 is connected to each of the neurons, first neuron, second neuron, and third neuron. So I have initialized w1, w2, w3, the same way this neuron is connected to the next two neuron, w4, w5, and w6. And then we get w, uh, sorry, y hat. This is my uh, basically predicted value. So. Uh, in the forward progression, uh, in the forward progression, what actually happens is we start from here and we go uh, towards, uh, we go through these hidden layer of neurons and then we produce some, uh, pre uh, or then we predict some output, which is y hat. And uh, after this, what we do is we uh, try to calculate loss function. Loss function is basically actual minus predicted value. So this is, let's say my actual value and this is my predicted value. This will give me my loss. So once we calculate loss, after the, uh, calculating loss, we do the backward propagation. In backward propagation, what we do, we basically uh, update our weights. After calculating the loss, uh, then we back, back propagate and we update our weights. So let's say uh, during the backward propagation for, let's say, uh, we calculated the loss and we got some value for it and we need to update this W6 with some new value. So assume that in the at the initial stage W6 was initialized with uh, 10. I'm just taking a hypothetical number but the uh, formula for updating the W6 uh, then with the new value will be W6 new will be W6 minus learning rate learning rate is some constant value that we take and then we calculate the derivative of loss with respect to derivative of W6. So basically derivative of loss with respect to der derivative of W6. That means how my loss function is, uh, is changing with respect to change in W6 value. So if I update my W6 value, how my uh, loss value will be changed. I, either it will increase the loss or it will decrease the loss. So this is how we get the, uh, this is how we update any of the weight, not only W6, any of the weight will be uh, updated like this way. So W5 new will be also updated something like this way. W5 new will be W5 minus learning rate into derivative of loss with respect to derivative of W6. So let's say <clears throat> now calculating the derivative of loss with respect to derivative of W6, let's say we get this value and learning rate is my constant. So learning rate generally is initialized with 0 0.01 and then my W6 new will be what my W6 new will be. Uh, W6 is my 10 and my learning rate is 0 0.01 and assume that this value derivative of loss with respect to derivative of W6, this value came out to be let's say 0 0.01 again. Fine. So what is my W6 new will be? My W6 new will be uh, 10 minus 0 0.001. 
which is uh, a, uh, something like 10.9999 uh, uh, sorry 9.999 something like this so you can see that my old value of w6 was 10 and my updated value of uh, the new value of w6 is 9.99 that means um, this is uh, there is a very slight change into the weight uh, so the uh, once the so what will happen due to this due to this what will happen is training will take a lot of time so the same way like when we will move uh, backward more backward so let's say uh, after calculating the w6 new we move back one more layer and let's say we need to calculate w4 new so w4 new will be i'm just taking one more example so w4 new will be what will happen is w4 minus so it will be my w4 minus learning rate into derivative of loss derivative of loss with respect to derivative of w4 so the, how it is going to be derivative of loss with respect to uh, derivative of w4 so as you again assume that uh, so derivative of loss with respect to derivative of w4 we can rewrite this this term basically this term basically how we can rewrite is derivative of loss with respect to derivative of w4 is equal to derivative of loss with respect to derivative of w6 which is my basically uh, this one basically in the first in the first uh, so when we are updating w6 which i just did and then derivative of w6 with respect to derivative of w4 so derivative of w6 with respect to derivative of w4 this is plain mathematics again you can see, think of if i cut this derivative of w6 with this derivative of w6 it is again going to be derivative of loss divided by derivative of w4 this is plain mathematics i'm just using it just to make you understand so this is how my derivative of uh, derivative of uh, loss with respect to derivative of w4 will be calculated so what will happen is derivative w4 minus learning rate into and then we need to put this value derivative of loss with respect to derivative of w6 into derivative of w6 into derivative of w4 then what will happen after this is and again let's say this is my w4 old value this is my w4 old value assume that this was my 100 and my learning rate was my 0 0.01 derivative of loss with respect to derivative of w6 we have taken as 0 as you can see here sorry 0 0.01 so this is going to be 0. Uh, let's say 0 0.01 and again derivative of w6 with respect to derivative of w4 it is going to be let's say i it came out let's say 0 0.5 so again if you multiply all this value so this value is again going to come as a very very small smaller value because you can see that it is going to be something 100 minus 0 0.012 and uh, 0 0.005 something like so you can see that now my new value of the w4 will be 99.999 and then 5 99.995 so you can see that again here the value is going to be changed very less the same way if i take uh, if i consider so the same way if i come here after w4 i need to update let's say w1 this one so this is how what is happening is that as soon as we are getting backwards uh, toward the input layer the derivative or the derivative value is getting smaller and weights are updated with very very small value because uh, the old value and new value of weights are really really close to each other so what will happen in that case is training will take a lot of time and this problem of vanishing gradient like as vanishing gradients mean gradient mean derivative value derivative value or derivative of loss with respect to derivative of particular weight that is my gradient so vanishing gradient means as soon as we are uh, back propagating our gradient value is vanishing our gradient value is our derivative of loss with respect to the derivative of very, uh, our weight so this will be uh, this will be vanishing and what in 
what will affect this what will happen after this after this our training will take a lot of time because uh, let's say my initial value was 100 and in the next iteration um, the value changed to 19.9995 so again it is going to be a lot of iteration lot of iteration and it will take a lot of time so this problem is termed as vanishing gradient problem and exploding gradient problem is just opposite to it let me take an example quick example to of this so assume that uh, while we were calculating this value so while we were calculating this value assume that my if my uh, this value of derivative of loss so so let's say assume that uh, my derivative of this learning rate is learning rate is 0 0.01 and so i am here i am uh, explaining my exploding gradient exploding gradient so assume that this derivative of loss with respect to derivative of w6 came out to be let's say 1000 and derivative of w6 with respect to derivative of w4 came out to be let's say again 100 so what will happen is 100 minus uh, 1000 into so what is what it is going to be uh, so it is going to be something like this way because these two value will these two zero will go with this one and it is going to be 1000 and it is going to be let's say 900 minus 900 so you can see that uh, earlier let's say my w4 was 100 and my w4 new is my minus 900 so you can see that uh, when the derivative value is too big then what will happen my new updated value this is my w4 new it will be a very big value a very big difference will be there so what will happen due to this due to this we will never converge to the minima because what will happen is it will keep changing uh, values in a, in a very you know uh, it will keep changing value in a very big difference and this problem is termed as exploding gradient so soon as we will be going backward this value of uh, because when we will be multiplying some big value then the multiplied value the result will be even bigger and when the e multiplied value will be even bigger our weight will change more drastically and when weight will change more drastically we will never converse to the global minima or the uh, where our weights are optimized or where we our prediction is going to be more accurate so these two are the problem so in short vanishing gradient is when my derivative values are too small then what will happen my weights will uh, get updated with very small value and exploding gradient means when derivative value is too big then the my new weights will be again very big and after this what will happen is that we will never converse to the um, we will never converse to our uh, global minima so this is the uh, how vanishing gradient and exploding gradient can affect our neural network uh, so that's all for this video guys and see you in the next one thank you